finally doing it, the Arrangement master class. Today we're gonna go through everything you need to know to arrange your beats, regardless of the genre. We're gonna talk about the intro, chorus, verse, how to create breakdowns, and a lot of other good stuff as well. Do me a favor, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and trying to see what else I want right now. And leave a comment, this is helpful. And yeah, let's get into it. So the first part of your beat is your intro. The way I like to think of the intro is it's really the deciding factor on whether someone's going to continue to listen to your beat or, you know, just turn it off. Like think of how many times you've just been listening to music and a random song pops up and then you just immediately change it. That's the same for your beats. If an artist is going and looking up beats or if you send an artist a pack, you're probably not going to listen to every beat all the way through. Like some of the beats they'll just know instantly whether or not they're gonna like it or whether or not they're going to give it a chance. So there's two key things I like to focus on for my intros. First, peak curiosity. You wanna give the listener a reason to want to keep listening like what's going to happen. And that can be done through a very simple trick, which I'm gonna show you in a second. Now the second part of your intro that you really wanna focus on is actually easing the listener into either the verse or the chorus, just depending on how you arrange your beat. As you don't want the intro to happen and then it's switched into the verse or the chorus and then it just completely throws the listener off. So right here, I have this beat I made in my gunna tutorial to actually ease the listener into the chorus. You'll see I have two instruments playing. One is this pointed guitar, which is playing pretty much throughout the entire beat. And then second, I have this other instrument playing right here. And if you look right here, which is the chorus, this is only playing on the second half of the chorus. In order to kind of introduce this sound to the listener, I ended up adding it to part of the intro. And this also just makes the beat a little bit more interesting in general. Now, in order to actually pique some interest from your listener, this on its own should do that, but if we want to add a little extra, a really simple trick that I like to do, go over to the instruments, I'll either select both instruments, but in this case I just needed the guitar done, and I'll go and put an EQ on it, cut out most of the highs, this is about 300 hertz, and then I just go over here, right click, and go to create automation clip, and what that's going to do is it's going to turn on and off that filter. And so if you listen to it right here, when I play it, it's going to sound a bit muffled, at the start, this guitar sound, and then it's gonna slowly open up until it hits a chorus. Dylan XO. thing to mention is the length of your intro a lot of like the most popular songs maybe like an eight bar intro max and then it just drops into the chorus if you're trying to make like a club record or something like that or something that's really high energy typically the shorter the intro the better and you might not even need an intro and some great news for you friends if you just go down to the description there will be a link and i have a couple flp files that i went in and labeled you know how long your intro can be how long your pre-chorus should be, how long your chorus should be, etc. So definitely go download that, check that out. There's five different FLPs and, you know, leave a thumbs up. Enjoy these nature views while I explain what a pre-chorus is. So the beat I'm showing you guys today does not have a pre-chorus. Basically what a pre-chorus is, is it's an attachment to the chorus. It just kind of notifies the listener that chorus is coming. Now, if I was to do a pre-chorus, I'd probably do something like this. Have one of the guitar sounds come in, hi-hats, add the claps, and then it would drop into the beat. So let's give this a listen real quick. And this would happen throughout the beat right before the chorus drops. So next we have the chorus, and the chorus is really the highlight of your song. It's going to be the part of a song that people typically look forward to listening to or remember most about the song. So this is an area you want to make sure that really stands out and the song's kind of like built around it in a sense. Right here, let's just talk the intro going into the chorus, just because this is the most popular way of arranging a beat right now. So as you can see for this chorus, pretty much have all the instruments coming in at once for the first half of the chorus, and then to make 
make it sound a little bit bigger, we add an additional instrument on the second half. Now keep in mind, you don't have to add another instrument. You could also go in and maybe just add your kick to the second half of the chorus. So the 808 hits a little bit harder. Or if you have open hats or additional drums, you could also go in and just add that to the second half of the chorus as well. And then another option is you could go in here and for maybe just something like your hi-hats, you can go make this one unique and you could go in and take out a few hi-hats here that way once it reaches the second half of your chorus it feels like there's a little bit of a difference because maybe there's more hi-hats hitting and then another thing that i did here and this just helps make the second half of the chorus sound a little bit bigger highlighted all my instruments and i just kind of took them out right before it drops into the second half right here so let's give this a listen So now on to the verse. This is kind of the area you'll typically want to leave the most open for the artist. And this is where you'll start to take away instruments, but slowly build them back up into the chorus. We have the verse. This is just a 24 bar verse, which is very common in music nowadays. Now to transition into the verse, a simple thing that I like to do is I'll just cut out all the drums right here. And then typically just have a couple instruments playing. This guitar sound that's playing throughout the entire beat is a definite must and then in addition to that as i like this vocal sample and i felt like it didn't get to the point where it was annoying at this point i also have that in to kind of transition the chorus into the verse as well I typically take out all of my drum sounds and maybe just leave in a clap but sometimes i'll also go in and maybe grab my hi-hats and have it start after the first four bars then as the verse progresses you can see that i start adding more and more drums back as well as other sounds and so right here i just ended up adding the other guitar sound which plays throughout until it drops into the second half of the chorus right here and then for the first half right here i just have the 808 playing and i don't bring in the kick yet that way it has kind of something to build up to. And then if you look here, there's like a big kind of gap towards the end right here. And I'll often do this, and this is about two bars right here, as it kind of resets the beat right before the chorus drops in. So I'm just gonna play it and you guys can hear it for yourself. So now we're on chorus number two and three. So this is completely optional. Go and copy your first chorus over for the second and third chorus in your beat. But if you want to kind of go that extra mile and make each of the choruses sound maybe a little bit bigger than the last, one really simple thing you can do is grab an instrument. So right here, I've got the pointed guitar and I'm just going to convert it into an audio file. Then you're just going to put that audio file on top of your chorus like I did right here. And then just pitch it all the way up. Put it on your channel rack. Press Ctrl L to do that really quickly. And you're going to just want to add an EQ. Cut out some lows, cut out some highs. And then just turn it down a little bit. And here's what you'll get. So it's a very slight difference, but here's our original chorus versus this one. 
And you could also just go in here, maybe add another kick drum right here. You could switch the 808, etc. It's really up to you. I just recommend only making like a small little change and this is just a very easy one to do. You could also go in and just add an effect that comes in for just this part of the chorus as well. And then for the last third chorus over here, you could do something similar and maybe also do it for this other guitar sound right here. Now onto the breakdown. Like the chorus, this can be like a really big highlight for listeners. Kind of just changes up the vibe for a little bit and then eventually builds up into the chorus and it just it makes the final chorus sound like that much bigger and that much better. For the breakdown, this is once again optional. You could just simply go in and repeat your verse and add another verse. Maybe have your clap start a little bit later. Maybe have the hi-hat come in a little bit earlier as well. But if you do want to add a breakdown, have a bass line added. And this is just on the root notes of the guitar melody that's playing throughout. And then what I'll go in and do is I'll add a less common sound. And the least common sound in this beat is the arcade sound. And I know it will sound good with this baseline just because I've done this so many times and what I'll do is I'll have everything kind of cut out no drums nothing then I'll slowly bring in like the clap maybe a couple other drums then I'll go in and add one additional instrument as well as maybe the hi-hats or another drum and then it'll just go back into the chorus so let me give you guys a listen right here Right there it's like one of the easiest ways to make a breakdown in my opinion now for the outro of the beat I either just copy what I did in the intro or just have just one sound left on its own then I'll just go here go to the master right click and click create automation clip and this is just going to fade the volume out so just add a point right here and then just pull this down like this <laughs> 